Inside this bag is one of the weirdest, maybe coolest, most interesting guitar pickups you'll ever see in your entire life. Is that true? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me in the comment section. But look at this. It's a lightning bolt and hidden underneath the lightning bolt is a double single coil sort of layout. Look at that. How cool is that thing? This is the bolt by Pickup Pickups. You can find them on pickuppickups.com. And it doesn't stop here with this removable black and white lightning bolt. It also comes with a yellow lightning bolt and a black lightning bolt, which kind of just disappears <laughs> against the black pickup ring. But you get the idea. You can mix and match and switch and swap these lightning bolt covers to be whatever you want to fit your mood, depending on what mood you're in. What mood are you in right now? So anyways, pickuppickups.com. Go check them out. And in the rest of this video, I'm going to install this thing in a guitar that needs at least one new pickup. I'm talking about the West Creek Racer. Last time I filmed with this, it was chirping like crazy. It has got microphonic pickups uh, by the definition of microphonic pickups. It, uh, yeah, it likes to feed back. So I'm going to swap out the bridge pickup in this. And I thought that this would be a great look for this already kind of funky and fun guitar. So let's get started. This is going to be one of those videos where it's going to be all time lapse until I get to the very end and then we'll check out the guitar and see what that pickup sounds like. All right, see you on the other side. <laughs> So a nice thing about this pickup is that it is technically a humbucker with those two coils working together. And it has the whole humbucker wiring thing going on. We've got a red and white twisted together. That is your coil split. I imagine we don't want to split this pickup, but if I wanted to get crazy creative, I bet I could do all sorts of phase out of phase. Uh, series parallel sorts of mods on this pickup. I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm going to go straight vanilla, just replacing the humbucker that's in here. Just do it nice and easy. And I can always come back later and swap things around if I feel so inclined or curious or feel like, you know, wasting my time <laughs> making a very ambitious video. So now I'm just going to cut out the existing pickup, which is wired to this pot. It looks like there's going to be only three places I need to solder to make this happen. So this is going to be a quick video. <music> Gotta say I'm always impressed when I open up a dirt cheap guitar <laughs> like this West Creek and it has full size pots in there. They're unmarked. I'm sure there's a marking on the other side of them to tell me that they are 500k pots. I'm assuming they're going to be 500k. But yeah, everything looks pretty clean in here for being a $200 guitar. I think $219 is the price they were last time I checked. Not bad, not bad. It looks clean in here. All right, let's get it soldered up. <laughs> Assuming this works out of the gate, this is just the easiest pickup swap I've ever done. Fingers crossed, guys. Oh my gosh, it would be great if this took no time at all to finish. All I gotta do now is string it back up, right? It's because I didn't get into the weeds. Rewiring the whole dang thing and adding push pulls and coil taps and things like that. I'm just swapping a pickup here. And I didn't even do a comparison because like I'm changing the strings. It's a completely different style of pickup. So why even bother with the comparison? 
Let's just have fun putting a weird new pickup in a guitar, right? So these two holes right here are not lined up with the previous spacing of the, uh, the humbucker ring that was on here. I'm gonna wait until after I get this all strung up and working before I drill two new holes to put in those last two screws. It's gonna stay in there just fine. I'm not worried about it. Stringjoy Orbiters, 10 and a half to 50s. There it is, look at that. That doesn't match the personality of this guitar perfectly. I don't know what does. I am thinking though that I probably should have put it in the neck position because I tend to play with my hand really riding on the bridge. And I'm just gonna be covering it up with my hand. I want everyone to be able to see that. So maybe in the future, I'll put in some other pickup in the bridge position and switch this to the neck position. Or maybe I'll love the sound of it in the bridge position and I'll just deal with it. Like this is my little secret. You guys don't get to see it until I do this. And then I cover it again and then you get to see it. It's a little surprise. <laughs> so anyways, let's find out what it sounds like. That's important, right? I did get a little preview while I was tuning it and it sounds twangy. <laughs> That is not what the stock pickup sounded like. Of course, the stock pickup was a full-blown humbucker, and this has a lot less magnet in there, a lot smaller internals on this. So I'm not surprised if it's much lower output, uh, if it's got a totally different tone than you would expect from any other humbucker-sized pickup. So yeah, let's uh, let's have some fun. Let's get twanging with it. <laughs> It sounds like a Telecaster bridge. Now the reverb. I love that single coil twang that I'm getting from it. And that lower output sort of clarity. Lots of highs. Bright, bright, bright. I think that sounds great. Has a little bit of this like kind of bright nasal hinting it out of phase but not actually out of phase sort of thing going on a bit of like a mustang quality to that sound a mustang pickup quality i want to go back to the reverb sounds with the overdrive from the left side of my 
50-50 pedal that I've got on the floor. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm fighting off a little bit of a cold. My voice is a little different. I'm moving a little slower today. Uh, I was just itching to do this video this week, so I'm getting it done. Here it is clean. We'll do a quick comparison in between the bridge and the neck pickup and then get into the dirty stuff. There it is clean on the bridge. Here it is clean on the neck. Way more output from the neck, not surprised. More output isn't always, maybe even usually, a good thing in my opinion. I tend to prefer pickups that are lower output. Uh, that tend to, It tends to mean that they have more personality. There's more dynamics being picked up by your pickups as you're playing. There's more range to play with where a super high output pickup, and to my ear, always sounds a bit muddy, a little bit too low end heavy, maybe a lot bit too low end heavy. I like a thin, bright pickup, and that seems to be exactly what this is. But if you like that heavy, gut-punching chug, the, the stock pickups in this seem to deliver. Yeah, bright, bright, bright twang there, contrasted against. See how they hit that overdrive. Gain is at noon, volume is at noon, just how I like to run it. Really hearing that approaching out of phase, bright, thin, Mustang pickup sort of sound that I was describing there. Up. Some people love that. They love that kind of like that thick and rich, creamy sort of sound, but I like that cutting, piercing sort of sound. And of course, because it's lower output, there's much less gain being pushed through that 50 50. bell on before that to stack some overdrives and get extra heavy. Microphonic feedback test. Nothing so far with two overdrive stack. Let's throw the other side of the 50 50 in there. That is the neck pickup. Let's see if the bridge is microphonic. A little bit of a chirp, not a huge surprise. I'm stacking three overdrives. One of them has a gain all the way up. But compared to the stock pickup, that ain't nothing.
Yeah! That's very interesting, isn't it? It seems to be humbucking. I'm not hearing any 60 cycle hum. The name of the channel! Uh, <laughs> it's twangy. It is high personality. to it. What do you guys think? Are you curious? Is this the sort of thing that you'd want to try out in your project guitar? Do you have a guitar that is just begging for one of these now? Do you like those sounds? It's okay if you don't. We all like different things. I like it. I'm compelled by it. I am wondering if I would prefer it in the neck position. I like a single coil tone in the neck position of a guitar and I certainly don't mind a humbucker in the bridge position. So maybe I'll put some sort of humbucker, standard, you know, traditional humbucker in the bridge there and move this up to the neck. And then I won't be covering it with my hand so everyone can see that cool lightning bolt. Also, my hand is interacting with this thing quite a bit. There's an overhang here with this lightning bolt and it's, it's 3D printed. It's got that rough kind of 3D printed texture. Can you hear it? Put on some drive. See what I mean? It's got this texture that's digging into my hand a little bit. A little bit of sandpaper could smooth that out. I don't know if I hate that yet. It's, it could just be another place to rest my hand, honestly. That could be like a whole thing for me. I don't know. I didn't feel myself interacting with the uh, the lower part of the lightning bolt here, but I know some people get wild and crazy with their strumming. Some of you might look at this and be like, I could never have that where the neck pickup is because I just strum wildly there and my hand will catch it where I tend to ride on the bridge position almost full time, just rolling palm mutes on and off. I don't know, I think it's fun. I think it's compelling. Yeah, there's a novelty aspect there. They could certainly take this pickup and come up with some sort of standard cover that doesn't stick out. Another practical thing is that it does cover up the adjustment screws, the height adjustment screws for the pickup. Um, I did make an adjustment after stringing it up and I had to loosen the strings to get under there to move this to the side to raise and lower the pickup to my preference. So yeah, there's some practical trade-offs for a fun novelty thing. But I think there's some compelling sounds there. I like the twanginess of it. I like that there's no hum right now. There's no 60 cycle hum. The name of the channel right now. <laughs> Is that a new bit? I don't know. This might be the last time I ever do that. But I think it's fun. What do you guys think? I'm really curious to hear what you guys think down in the comments section. Uh, I'll have links to this guitar, this pickup, all the pedals that I use down below in the comment section. Some of them will be affiliate links. Click those to help me make some money. Please, I'm begging you. I need to make money over here. <laughs> I just need to get through summer. Summer's always a little thin in YouTube world. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be just fine. So anyways, huge thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me a rude nasty comment. Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt if you're naked and stay grounded. Suggest other pickups that I should throw in here. I'm curious. Let me know what you think I should do. All right. Bye, everybody.